All right, guys. Uh, you know, I've said for a long time, many times, that listening to the uh, financial expert news, like whether it be Bloomberg, Fox Business News, MSNBC, CNN, I don't know, whatever, wherever you get your financial news, anything that's mainstream that plays on the TV, that, uh, it all experts like Jim Cramer, right, running around like a crazy person telling you to buy and sell these things. That it's a total waste of time. Because all they're going to do is mislead you, screw you up, and if you listen to them, basically, you lose all your all your investment. It's going to be gone. Because it, all they do is they, they mislead. They lie. They, they get things wrong. How, can, how is it possible for the same group of people, experts, or whatever, to get things wrong so often? It's like, it doesn't make any sense, right? You're playing with a, that, that game where you, 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 you throw the, the, the ball onto the blacks and the reds, right? And every time they say red, it falls on black. And every time they say put it on black, it falls on red. How does that happen? The only way that that happens is if they know what the outcome is going to be before the ball is thrown and they're telling you to do what is not going to happen so that you'll lose your money. But you know what they do is they'd say sometimes, oh, you should put it on red, and then it does fall on red, and then you're like, oh, I should listen to them more. But more often than not, it's not a 50-50 chance. It's more like 95 false, 5% truth. All right, whatever. So it's misleading. So anyway, I'm not going to go on and on about that, but uh, I'm going to do an experiment, and I'm going to do the opposite of the major advice that the news is giving. So I was just listening to Bloomberg saying they had some expert on. She had 39 degrees, 78 years of experience in financial markets, a, univer uh, a universal perspective. So she really has so much good stuff to say about all this and that. And they asked her, you know, what should investors be doing right now? Should they be worrying? Where should their money be? Should they be in the stock market? Should they be in safe investments? Whatever, right? Like, what is coming? What should we be doing? And, um, and her advice was that you should be in the stock market because we're reopening. It's going to be a boom recovery. It's just going to shoot straight up. It's going to be great. It's going to be amazing. Like, the virus is going away. We have vaccines now. People are wearing masks. You know, we have all these things that that are great for for this recovery. And it's going to, you know, people have been inside for a year, locked up in quarantine. And now they're allowed to go back to work. And they're allowed to go back to work now. They're allow We're allowing you to go back to work. You're allowed to go back to work. You're allowed to go out and, and live your life and do things. So you're going to be buying things. And so she said, you know, you should be in the stock market. Should you be in cash? No, you shouldn't be in cash. You should be in the market. If you have any cash lying around, you know, you should get into that. You should take that into the market. It's dipped like five, whatever percent over the last couple days. That's good buying opportunity. So you should get into the market now. You should be in the market. Time in the market. Blah. Okay. So that's their advice. That's what they're saying. Push. It's like, hey, everybody, look, look. Nothing to worry about. Get into the market. Get in here. Come on. Big party. So what I'm going to do is the opposite. I'm going to see how it goes. Because... And what I think is, it doesn't really matter what I think. I'm just going to run this experiment and see how it goes, right? But what I think is going to happen is that, because right now, like, you got to look at the, the way that they're saying. They're, they're pushing people to, to think a certain way. Like, don't worry, we're opening up. Everything's going to be butterflies, great. You know, we're going to have a boom recovery. It's going to be great. Inflation? Ah, don't worry about inflation. It's transitory. It's transitory. It's not. It's not a big deal. It's just transitory. It's trans. What does even transitory inflation mean? Okay, if it's if twenty percent inflation for two years or three years, that's transitory. That doesn't matter, right? It's not a big deal. Uh, but anyway, all right. So what I'm going to do is the opposite. I'm going to do the opposite. I'm just going to listen to the news. 
and you know and take what they say and do the opposite of the major thing that they're uh, that they're saying to do and we're gonna see how it goes we're gonna see how it goes so um, number one advice not number one but the first bit of advice like advice number column number one here is um, be in the market and do not be in cash, right? If you have cash, get into the market now because now is good. The market is a good time to, to buy into the market right now. So that's their advice. I'm going to do the opposite of it. I'm going to keep listening and I'm going to tell you what they are telling you to do and I'm going to do the opposite of it. And I'm going to report on how it goes. We're going to see how it goes. It's going to be a fun experiment. We'll see what happens. Okay, bye.